Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about accuracy and precision. Okay, this accuracy and pre precision is related to measurement. What is measurement? Measurement means finding an unknown quantity. How we will find comparing a known quantity with an unknown quantity? Okay, so we have to see some measurement is an accurate and some measurement is precise how we can say like say okay so accuracy means it is a measure of how it is a measure of how close the measured value to the true value okay so we can say that accuracy 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 of a measurement is the measure of how close accuracy of a measurement is the measure of how close measure of how close the measurement measured value to the true value that means if the measurement meant measured value is very closer to true value what is mean by true value that is actual value sometimes you will say that the accurate value okay if it is closer, very closer, we can say that it is accurate. Otherwise, we will say that it is not accurate. We will take an example. So, one student measured this, uh, two students are measuring this pen length. This uh, actual length of the pen is, so we will take it as a true value. True value of this pen is how much? 10 cm. Okay, this is a true value. Student 1 measure, student 1, he got the value is to be, there is a measured value, he got the measured value is, how much means 9.8, student 2, he got the value is 9.5. So, which the actual value is 10 cm. This pen length is to be 10 cm. Student 1 measure by using a meter scale, he got it as what? 9.8 cm. It is not to be that much difference. Okay, for your, uh, for I, to make you to understand, I am taking this example. Okay, so, and the student 2 got 9.5 cm. From this, which value is closer to the 10? This 9.8 is closer to 10. 9.5 is meter. So we can say that student 1 measurement is more accurate. So this will say that this is more accurate. This. Okay. And this is about accuracy. Then how we can increase the accuracy of a measurement? So, the accuracy can be increased by reducing the error. So, accuracy can be increased by increasing, sorry, decreasing the error. Okay. So that means the person has to take has to take a little care about the measurement and he has to use very good devices for the measurement. Then we can get good accurate measurement. That means error will be less. What is error? Error means 
it is an uncertainty in a measurement that means measure uh, what, what will be happen the difference between the true value and measured value clear so that is about uh, accuracy okay next we will see about precision what is it? precision precision i think uh, some of them may not have an idea about precision but they are to be using in different different cases they are to be using what is to be precision like that okay so precision precision means it is a measure of how close the measured values okay It is a measure of how close the measured values. That means it is only the it is only measure the closeness. If the measured values are very closer, that is to be more precise measurement. That means we will take an example. A student, two students. Okay, is to be measuring the length of this device. Clear? This is a pen. Okay. So, I will take it out of the true value. What is the true value of this pen? So, I will write it here. Okay. So, true value. Example. Pen is 10 centimeter. That is the length of the line. Okay. True value. Okay. So we erase this. Length is ten centimeter. Okay, that means this pen length is be ten centimeter. That is a true value. Okay, student one one measure values. He is measuring not only one. Yes, he is measuring three set of values. Okay, that is. 9.5 again he got it as 9.9 .9, he got again he got 9.2 okay then next student 2 he got it as 9.6 then 9.7 again he got 9.6 so from this which one is which measurement is precise you see this student, this student, the student 1, he is to be measuring the values closer to the true value. But the values are here 9.15 first and 9.9. .9. The difference is very large. Here only 0 0.1 is a difference. So these values are very closer. So we can say that this student measurement is a precise measurement. precise measurement so from this one we can say that the precision how no relation to precision how no relation to the over it is just to be checking the closeness of the measurement or the measured value okay so by using this, from this we can say that if the measurement is accurate, it is precise. But if the measurement is precise, we cannot say that it is accurate. Okay, so we will write that statement that is if. is accurate it is precise consistently accurate that means always he is getting what 
9.9, like that. Okay, so that time it is what precise also because the values are very close, consistently accurate. We can say that it is precise. Okay, then if a measurement, if if the measurement measurement is precise. It may or may not be be accurate. Accurate. From this example, we got here. Maybe it may be accurate. Okay. Okay. Then that is about the precision and uh, how we can increase the precision. How we can get a precise measure. Okay. We can get a high precise measurement by using high resolution devices. Okay, so increased by using high resolution devices. Higher resolution devices. What do you mean by higher resolution devices? That is the smallest value of least count. Smaller least count. The smallest value of least count. Okay. Then the precise measurement will be increases. How? We'll take an example. How we can? There may be a doubt is there. okay. So you take it as an another example. Okay, another example. Okay, one student one is to be measuring measuring the length of this pen by using a meter scale. Okay, so he got the value. Student one got the measured values. Measured value. His least count is how much? Meter scale. That means 0 0.1 centimeter is the uh, least count, and the measured values he got it as 9.9, then 9.5, 9.2, like that. Okay, and another student, student 2, his device least count that is. An example for a vernier calculus 0 0.01 centimeter. Okay, he got the measured values at 9.95, 9.96, 9.97. So you see these values here. The here the resolution is small. This person is using higher resolution devices. Here the lower resolution device. Here the values are what? It is very closer. Okay, you see that it is very closer. Okay, nine point always it is to be the first digit to be same. Only the second digit are changing. Again, if the resolution increases, again precision will be increased. The values will be closer. Okay, this way we can increase the precision of a measurement. Okay, that's all about uh, accuracy and precision. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel. If you like this video, please put like and share.